Hello, Valerie Chaudine here. Welcome to my studio and especially welcome you artists of trading cards, greeting cards, uh, little artworks and tags. I have an artist trading card stencil for you and I'm excited about the layering of trees and leaves of my favorite dancing woman figure stencil and some mid-century modern banners and patterns. Let's go. Okay, first I'm going to cut my stencil. You don't have to, and there's many ways to do it. I've seen other people do it other ways, and that's totally fine. I'm just gonna show you the way that I am most comfortable doing it, and then you can cut it any way you want. I have my cutting mat here, and so there's these measurements, and I know that um, they're three inches wide. You can see the nine inch, so I'm gonna cut along the three inch lines with my cork backed ruler. The cork helps it not skid and then move and slice into your stencil, which of course would be bad. You can just cut it or use a craft cutter. Um, I kind of like straight lines, but I'm not really comfortable with a craft cutter for this. So this is how I do it. Press down firmly, use a sharp craft X-Acto knife, and then I just pull down and I don't do it this way I do pull down from the top down because that's the easiest motion towards my body and there I have it right here You'll see on this stencil, there are three stencils, the tree and leaves, that layer on top of one another. So I thought it'd be a good idea to show you what that looks like here. Of course, you can use your own handwriting to write words and letters inside the banners and the patterns on the mid-century modern part of the stencil, but you can also use stamps like I've used here. Oh, the possibilities. I hope you have fun with this new artist trading card mix-up stencil. Blessings.